The day that my daughter was murdered, time stopped. Totally. And the things that the Hockney County authorities did to me was outrageous. It was October 4th, 1982, in a cornfield outside of Logan in Hocking County. They found the limbs, heads of a young engaged couple, their torsos thrown into the Hocking River. Authorities quickly zeroed in on Dale Johnston, the stepfather of Annette Cooper, on the premise he was jealous of her engagement to Todd Schultz. He became the center of the case, the focus of investigators, and was convicted within a couple of years of brutally butchering the couple. Usually, I refer to having been wrongly convicted. That's really a misnomer. I wasn't wrongly convicted. I was flat out framed. Three judges found him guilty and sent him to death row. On appeal, however, his case fell apart amid prosecutorial misconduct, misconduct by police, and exculpatory evidence that could have helped prove Johnston was not guilty. And uh, if they had followed the reports that they got from different witnesses, they could have solved my daughter's murder in two or three weeks. And spent, they spent over a year demeaning me and protecting uh, a certain person. Um, that's, that's how I ended up on death row. In 2008, a drifter, sex offender, and drug addict by the name of Chester McKnight, otherwise known as Chester the Molester, admitted to butchering the couple in the cornfield. He pled guilty, confessed to the crime, was found guilty, and was sentenced to life imprisonment. Dale Johnston. He has fought since to clear his name in the courts, to obtain a finding that he was innocent, so he could claim damages for wrongful imprisonment. To me, it's not about any money I could get or whatever, because like I tell people, whatever they get, whatever I, they legally say I could get, would be an insult. Truly. Really. What do you want? I want to be legally cleared and called wrongly convicted. It's just that simple. He failed in that bid in 1993, and after the legislature changed the law in 2003, he again sought uh, compensation for being wrongfully convicted for these horrific murders. Franklin County judge did find him innocent, however that was overturned by the appellate court on premise that he was not entitled to retroactive application of the wrongful imprisonment law done by the legislature in 2003. The Ohio Supreme Court disagreed today, allowing Johnson to finally seek justice. Now I can understand what the uh, Attorney General did initially when nobody really knew who killed the kids. That was before McKnight confessed and all this. And then when they, uh, they, he was indicted and tried in Hawking County again, confessed. And we, what, what's this, what gives? You know, everybody then from that point on knew I did not kill my daughter. And they knew that McKnight and Lynn Scott was the two that did. So what's the Attorney General's problem? 